This might look like a real pond, but in fact, it's not a real pond at all. It's a stormwater pond, smack in the middle of an urban area. This story is about one stormwater pond in our neighborhood of Markham, just outside of Toronto. Hi, I'm Marcus. I'm Malcolm. And I'm Sebastian. Stormwater Management Pond play an important role in people's lives around the neighborhood. What they do is collect rainwater from drains and lead them into the pond. And this helps sustain life and help create a nice scenery for people to enjoy and react with each other. But this pond wasn't always here. There was a farmland that covered most of the area. We went to a local museum to get better detailed and get, got lots of good answers. Hi, we're here at the Markham Museum and we're just heading into the museum office to get information on a pond by my friend Marcus and Malcolm's house. I work at Markham Museum and we were talking about the land that is on the corner of or in that vicinity of the 9th line and the 16th avenue and the pond that's there now is not a natural pond it was built because of the runoff of water for the houses that are in that area. Uh, the house that actually stood and the farmland that was all that area right there was owned by a family uh, one family was the Miller family and another was the Cole family. Those were two different owners at different times. And if you were to find the house on that original property, you'd be looking at Pickering Museum Village. That's where it was moved to. The silos actually, I forgot to mention that, there were silos there from the barn. They did not get destroyed until probably about three, four years ago. Animals and plants believe that this stormwater management pond is a real pond habitat. This pond contains a widespread of animals and plants. City engineers don't want these animals anywhere near these ponds and ask that citizens do not feed the wildlife. I'm working in the town of Markham as an environmental engineer. Uh, storm water management point of view. The bees, we discourage to come to the bees in the pond. Okay, but the trees is good. This is a great pond for the community because it teaches youth about pond life and it's a beautiful community spot for families to just hang out. 